So I was in the drugstore and decided to pick up a few new items. Well, at least they're new to me. But you all know, I always say this, in the land of YouTube, if you don't review your product before it releases or the minute it releases, it's late. It's old news. Everybody's on to the next thing. But anyway, I have Maybelline's latest foundation and concealer. And you know, I have timestamps below. I don't want to spoil it to let you all know what I think about it. But this is the look, if it's any indicator of what I think about it. I have those two here. I have the e.l.f. powder foundation. I have Revolutions eyeshadow palette, the Ultimate Nudes and their little eyeliner. I have the Cream Shops uh, contour creams. And I have some of Maybelline's nude lipsticks. So yeah, I use those products amongst other drugstore products to create this look. Uh, once I get started, I'll quickly tell you all what skincare that I used. Um, a lot of times I'll get people asking me uh, what skincare products do I recommend for whatever or what do I use before I apply makeup. So I'll quickly talk about that, but I'll leave timestamps below so you can just kind of switch around to what you want to see. So with all of that being said, let's get into this look. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm going to quickly just tell you all what I used for my skincare today. I used for my cleanser, I used the Kors Foaming Cream Cleanser. And I like to use this because it has pre and probiotics, which is really good for your skin, especially if you have um, acne or things like that. And for my serum, I'm just going to quickly put on my Dermalogica Circular Hydration Serum. This is a new skincare to my routine and I've been using it probably for the past uh, month or so and you get a little squeezy like this and it's very uh, thin and fluid uh, which I like and I just like to use this before I put on my um, foundation and things like that. I always like to have my serum and creams and other things like that on i think it's important no matter what your age um you all already know that i'm 50 years old and i just try to you know take care of my skin and then for my eye cream i'm going to use my biosense squalene marine algae eye cream and this is it right here so i'm just going to add a little bit of that and this is just uh some of the steps that i just wanted to share with you all if you all have seen any of my skincare videos you all know that I use a lot of products most of the time and that's just me I just like to do what works for me okay enough of that now let's um, get into this face shall we I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my brows and I'm just gonna use a Revlon brow uh, fantasy pencil I've used this before I really like using it because as I've stated before in the past it doesn't tug um, it doesn't run and it's just it looks really natural and it's excellent for the price if you ask me I think it's really good so I'm just gonna quickly fill in my brows And now to carve out my brows, I'm just gonna use my Juvia's Place Concealer. Um, I just like to use this because it is full coverage. Anytime I'm you know, going to need something that is gonna have good coverage and that really plays well with other um, eyeshadows and things like that this is uh, just a quick easy grab you know I know all of you all have those particular products in your collection that you know if you grab it or when you grab it it is gonna do what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do and that my friend would happen to be this concealer I'm actually almost out of this and I need to purchase some more and I'm just gonna bring it all the way down only because again I'm kind of going for that full coverage look um, you definitely don't have to carve out your brows like I do I do have some videos where I don't fill in my brows at all and really it just kind of depends on you know you and what you like 
I know that it's a lot of different um, ladies out there watching me. All of you all probably have, um, you know, different styles of how you like to do things. And I kind of like to mix it up here and there just to um, show you all more than one way of actually doing your makeup. So anyway, I'm just gonna blend all of this out. All right, so now that I have all of that applied, I'm just gonna take my CoverGirl translucent powder and set this with it. And I know you're probably like, girl, you always using the CoverGirl translucent powder or that um, wet and wild little uh, palette, uh, the contour palette. And let me tell you guys, when you find something that really works, and then not only, um, not only that, it really works, plus it's cheap, it's hard to let go, you know, but I really do need to try to find other powders uh, that work as well as those two do for me. All right, so now that I got all of that applied, I'm gonna go in with this Revolution Ultimate Nudes Light Palette. I saw this in the drugstore and I thought I would pick it up and test it out and try it for you all. All right, so let's see. So with the lightest shade right there, I'm gonna use that as a brow bone highlight and I'm just gonna add it right up there and it looks to be not much light. Oh yeah, it is. I was gonna say it's not lighter than the translucent powder that I just applied. And I'm gonna pray. I can't really tell if this is matte or not, but on my brow bone highlight, I just like using matte shades. And I really do like the fact that um, there's not a lot of kick up or anything in the pan and I'll just go ahead and say it again it kind of a lot of times well I'm not gonna say a lot of times but sometimes you know kick up can be determined by you know how hard your the bristles are in your brush now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here and I'm gonna just apply that shade right up under the the shade that I just applied and I don't know why. It looks like this one isn't showing up. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, yeah, this shade isn't showing up. And I probably should have just left my base wet, I'm thinking. But either way, let's keep it moving. I'm just going to go in with this darkest shade. I know that's going to show up. Wow, I thought maybe this would have been dark. I mean, the shadows appear to be blending pretty good. I was just kind of hoping that they would have been a little bit darker. Okay, so I have that applied. I'm gonna go back in with a larger brush. Um, just kind of blend those out a bit. It almost looks to be blending the shadows away. I mean, I feel like it just blended everything away. Okay, so we're gonna keep it moving. Um, I think, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these purple, ooh, these purple shades on my finger so you can see what they look like. Here they are. And I'm gonna use this shade right here. And I'm just gonna do this with my finger, see what happens. I might have to use a brush and wet it. I don't particularly want to do that, but I might have to. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going out good with the finger. Let me try this purple shade. Ooh, okay. I don't have to wet that. Okay. That's pretty. Look at that. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm just going to do the same thing over here because I don't particularly feel like getting a brush, wetting it. Uh, I'm being lazy. <laughs> okay, for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go back in and use this chocolate shade. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and this is uh, a new eyeliner by Makeup Revolution. I can't really see the name of it. This is it. I'm not sure how new this is. Um, it's definitely new to me. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my eyeliner. One thing that I can tell you that I do like about it is that it's going over the eyeshadow really good. There are some uh, eyeliners that I've used that 
don't go over the liner really well. All right, so I have all of that applied and I'm gonna go ahead and put on some mascara and this is just a Maybelline Wonderfully Real um, mascara. I always like to put some on right before I put on my lashes just so they can kind of have something to sit on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lashes and I'll be right back. All right, so now for the fun part, the foundation. And I have these Maybelline Superstay Active Wear in shade 330 Toffee Caramel. This is it right here. And it's not too thick. It is kind of thick, but it's just not too, too, too thick. So let me wipe off my Vaseline. And let's go ahead and get this party started. And I think this is too yellow two yellow and I'm really glad that I put on that um, hyaluronic acid serum um, and did the appropriate skincare prep because I'm thinking this might be a little bit dry um, the color is I think it's too yellow um, I'm a little bit more in the cooler, slightly neutral category. Okay, got this all applied. All right, so as you can see, it's not the right shade. Um, I am gonna go ahead and bronze. We're gonna fix the shade once I bronze. And I'm gonna use the cream, the cream shop Smile Shading Cream uh, uh, Trio Palette. Comes in a box like this. This is the packaging. Here are the shades. I'm gonna use this shade. And for those of you all who are familiar with my channel, you all know that I love working with cream products. I'm hoping <laughs> that this works out for me. This seems super stiff, but let's just go ahead and see what we got. Mm, this is so stiff. This is horrible. And it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay, so you can see where I wiped it off, but just work with me now. This is what it looks like swatch. This is what it looks like on the back of my hand. Let me just go ahead and swatch the other shades. So those are all three shades. Let me go in with this one. And it's so stiff. See, now that looks super dark. Okay, but we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna bring it down here, like I normally do. I'm gonna bring it alongside here. Okay, all right, so now that I have all that applied, I'm gonna go in with my concealer and just work with me, y'all. Just work with me. <laughs> this is the new concealer that was released with the foundation. This is it. Now this seems kind of nice. It's not as dry as the foundation is. But let me finish, I guess, before I make a final judgment. It's really not blending good. It looks like it's picking everything up. Look at that. Do y'all see that? How that's picking up right there? What is the deal? So this is just not wanting to stay. It's lifting up the foundation down here. That's why I have this little patch of concealer and the coverage on this stuff is horrible this is all of this is horrible 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 but i'm gonna keep moving one thing that i am glad that it's not doing is messing with my allergies but i still don't know why this foundation keeps lifting that's really crazy okay so i'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit over here and on this side, 
Okay, so I've done the best that I can do with this uh, foundation and this concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use my um, CoverGirl translucent powder to set this. Ooh, this is not a good experience for me <laughs> at all. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the Elf Cameo Powder Foundation. Comes in a pack like this. Let's see what this does for me. This is it. And this is the shade. So I'm going to go and see if I can blend all of this madness out. Now for a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna go in with this uh, Believe highlighter. It's a cream highlighter and it's a stick. It just looks like this. I've used this before. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here, here. Just something to try to keep my skin from not looking so dried out from the foundation. And I'm going to, let's see, I'm just gonna blend it in a little bit with my finger. Ordinarily, I would use my sponge, but my sponge still has a lot of the foundation on it, which is extremely drying. And now I'm gonna go back in and put on some more mascara. All right, got that on. I think I'm gonna skip the uh, blush this time. I am not liking how this is looking. My face just feels so dry. So, so, so dry. <laughs> All right. And this is just a clean brush. I'm just going to kind of go over this part, see if I can get this blended in a little bit better. Okay, and now for lipstick, new lipsticks. I don't have, let's see, I have shade 39, uh, excuse me, 930 and 920 right here. And let me go ahead and swatch them. These are nude shades. You all know that I like nude lipsticks. I doubt if they're new. I need to do a little bit of research and see. There they are, swatch. I think I'm gonna use. Okay, and this is shade uh, 930 in Truffle Tea. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Okay, I think this is it, guys. Um, if it wasn't for the setting spray, I think the setting spray kind of saved everything because you all saw I was beginning to look like the crypt creeper um i think that this is just too drying plus the shades kind of tend to turn into something else once applied i don't think that uh, this plays really well with other makeup um these shadows i don't i do like the um, shade that I have on my inner eyelid uh, but everything else I just kind of feel like for the most part of it they just kind of blend away you just have to keep applying over and over and over and over I think that I like this powder this F elf powder uh, foundation powder um, yeah even though I think it's a little bit too dark um, so I'm swatching it and I'm gonna show you it. So here it is, right here, swatched. Um, but you all saw it, um, how it looked. What else did I have? I do like this eyeliner a lot. This foundation is horrible, hate it. This concealer, uh, I need to keep working with it uh, just to see. And I just feel like my makeup is just totally whack. The lipstick, love the lipstick. So I only have a few wins in here and that would be um, uh, the lipstick, the foundation powder, maybe the concealer and the eyeliner. The foundation is the one, these three, the eyeshadow, the foundation, <laughs> and this, no, negative, 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 horrible, horrible. 
anyway enough about that let me know if you've tried any of these products and if so did they work for you or did they not it could be operator error you know again i did try to really hydrate my skin uh, which is really what i always uh, do before and it was just still not moving not budging um, just not playing well with others so let me know down in the comments thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches